Hello, this is Baka Yaro, also known as Lorax42 on dev.bucket.org. Uh, I needed to replace an older video that was uh, no longer accurate, and um, uh, we've got a lot of stuff to get to. We're going to talk about weapon systems, we're going to talk about submarines uh, in basic combat uh, concepts. All right, so first off, here's a nice and simple little test sub. Uh, the point to take away here is that in order for a piece of air to move with the ship so that your ship can have an interior, there must be a floor and a ceiling. When the engine sees a floor and a ceiling, it will capture that air and make it part of the ship and move it with the ship. Uh, you can see the, the cruise sign, the submarine sign, and the helm sign. If I right-click this, it should turn into a wheel. There we go. Now I'm going to take command of the ship. All right. And uh, I want to show you how this cruise works. So the cruise has, sign has to be placed on another block. Uh, if it is placed on another block, you right-click it with an empty hand, it turns to cruise on, and your ship moves. There you can see. Okay, and I'm going to turn it back off. I'm going to maybe... There we go. By the way, if you're having trouble turning your cruise sign off, you can simply release your craft and that will stop you from cruising if uh, you have trouble clicking on it. Because you can see sometimes it's a little, a little hard to get that. Okay, anyway, uh, another thing to notice, here's a furnace. It has fuel in it. I've been burning through this fuel. It will accept either coal or coal blocks. Uh, and I want to show you that, yes, if I dive this thing, hey, look, it's keeping the air with the ship. Uh, the ship is not flooding because, again, it has that ceiling and floor. Another quick thing to notice, and a lot of people have problems with this, um, if I put a bunch of blocks on top of this sub, it will no longer let me go up. Why? Because the way the height limit works is if any part of the ship is above the height limit, it will not allow you to go up. It will allow you to go down. So I take command and I try to go up. Okay, it did let me go once, but then it says, hey, you've hit the height limit. All right, now I eliminate these blocks. and I should be able to go up much easily. Um, <clears throat> yes, you do have to take command of the ship. Important thing to note, whenever you make a change to your ship, you have to re-click your command sign, take command of the ship again. Now I can go up. Okay, yeah. So be aware of that. Uh, don't put things above the surface of water on your ship. All right, now let's talk about combat. We have a lot to get to, so I'm going to try and move very quickly. Uh, here we have the uh, uh, submersible airship, the Shadow of the Deep. This is featured in the Minecraft uh, Airship Pirates video. She has a series of five cannons. They fire kind of this scattered shot. Uh, pretty impressive to watch. Um, and there's our target, the Royal Navy Destroyer. And let's uh, reach in there, fire these guns. You can see how this works. It just shoots a huge scatter of TNT all over the target. Just blows it apart. All right, so TNT cannons. They are very devastating weapons, but they are not particularly accurate, meaning that it's difficult to hit just some parts of the ship while, un while not touching others. Uh, they are also expensive and large. If I were to look on the inside of this pirate ship, I would discover that those cannons actually go more than halfway through the ship. Uh, they're, they're big. Um, and, of course, TNT... Uh, is kind of hard to get. Uh, you're going to want to make a, a gunpowder farm somewhere, um, but they are tons of fun to use, and you can blast big, huge holes in it. Oh, look, she's finally sinking. Down she goes. All right. Uh, enough about cannons. Let's start looking at uh, torpedoes. With a precision weapon like a torpedo, uh, you want to shoot at the right part of the ship. In order to sink a ship, you have to uh, destroy enough of its fly blocks that it can no longer fly. In this case, your targets are wool or possibly uh, redstone. So here's that destroyer that we were just shooting at. I pasted another copy of it. Now, I'm going to cut this thing in half so that we can look at what it looks like on the inside. And there she is. Okay, so you look, there's a lot of wool, right? Now I could try and target the wool. The problem is there's a lot of it. So a torpedo is not a good way to get rid of all that wool. But 
there's relatively little redstone. It's all concentrated here in the back, in the engine room, or the engineering section, if you will. If I can destroy enough of that redstone, uh, the ship will fall. So if I understand the ship's design, then I can know what part of it to hit. Otherwise, I just have to try to destroy as much of the ship as possible so that it starts to sink. All right. Here we have the Minnow. She's a very small uh, ship. She's a torpedo ship. Uh, by the way, we're going to go into how to make all of these weapons later. Right now, I just want to show you how to use them. Uh, she has three torpedo tubes. One, two, three. Uh, each torpedo tube has two torpedoes loaded in it right now. Uh, and let me get inside there. And you'll note the ship is currently pointed right at the engineering section of that destroyer. So I've already put her uh, pointing where she needs to go. And we're going to fire torpedo number one by right-clicking on the torpedo itself, then right-clicking on a cruise sign. Doesn't matter where the cruise sign is. I'm going to use this one. You'll note it's set to already on. So that means I have to click twice. Once to turn it off, once to turn it back on. Then it fires. Okay, now I've put a nice hole in that engineering section. I've blown away a lot of the redstone, but not enough to sink it yet. So I fire a second torpedo. And off it goes. Okay, and now she's starting to sink. You'll know, most of the ship is intact. Like, the whole thing is fine, except for the hole I put through it in the back, uh, and that's enough to sink her. Now, the downside of torpedoes is I only have these three tubes. I only have two torpedoes for, per tube, so I only have six torpedoes. After that, I've got to reload. Those cannons, I can fire all day. Uh, so that's uh, the, the one drawback about torpedoes. They're very easy to make, uh, but you have a limited number of them. Now I want to show you the AA guns, or the fireball cannons. Most of my ships have at least two different weapon systems. A primary weapon, be it a cannon or torpedoes, and then the AA guns. Now I'm going to take control of this minnow here again, and that pirate ship over there, I'm going to turn so that my side is facing uh, the pirate ship. On this minnow, uh, the AA guns are on the side. That's these, these little dispensers. And again, I'll show you how, the, how to actually build those in a moment. But first, let me show you what they do. So I'm going to flip this switch. I can see you know, all these lights flashing. If I go out here, I can see that my guns are firing, and it's shooting uh, fireball charges, which are just going all over that uh, pirate ship. Okay, now that's not doing anything. I mean, it's, it's a little annoying if you're on the pirate ship. It can make it hard to turn, uh, but it doesn't... Let's see. The ship is in no danger. Why? Because I'm hitting the armor. The armor cannot catch fire, or if, if it, it, it won't burn through the ship. Okay? Uh, now, on the other hand, if I go back to my minnow over here, and all I have to do turn these off. Oh, they also jam. You note it stopped firing because it had jammed. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to turn it again. And I'm going to shoot just one torpedo. I'm going to use tube number two. Oops. Tube number two. Fire. Off it goes. Hopefully it's, that's in range. I think that's in range. Yeah. Okay. Now, you can see from here, I've put a hole in her armor. Uh, there's no way I'm going to sink it. Not from just one little tiny hole like that. But now that I have a hole in her armor... I can turn again, fire my side guns, and now if I go out there, hopefully I hit it, I might have to move forward. Yeah, I'm going to have to move. Okay, let me just uh, move back here. Okay, stop firing. Take command, I'm going to cruise the ship this time, and just move forward a little bit. That should be far enough. Okay, uh, I think that's far enough. Fire at it. Oh, there we go. I can see that I've caught fire on the inside of that hole. 
Okay, now that ship is burning, which is very bad news for a ship. They can try and put it out, um, but it's very difficult to put out a fire once it's started. Uh, and at this point, that ship can no longer move, it can no longer turn, it is dead in the air, or dead in the water. Uh, most of the guns will stop to work. As this fire burns through the redstone wiring, the various mechanisms inside the ship will start to malfunction. Sometimes it'll start firing randomly and, and strange things will happen. Uh, but yeah, this ship is in a lot of trouble and uh, is pretty much doomed at this point. There's no way you could put all that fire out. Uh, so that is one way to do that. Uh, if you don't know what part of the ship to target, put a hole in its armor using a torpedo or a cannon, and then set fire to it. All right, 